you like to learn how to do the horizontal figure of eight from back to front? Stay in this video because I'm going to teach you how to. Hello, I'm Faida Palma from dancepandemic.com and as I told you before, I'm going to teach you how to do the horizontal figure of eight for belly dance. So, First of all, I need you to go to my first video about the horizontal figure of eight backwards because that one is a little bit easier than this one to do. So, and, and as a beginner, you should start for the easiest, from the easiest part of everything because you want to learn everything properly. Okay, so once you have done that video, I will put the link down here. I want you to pay attention okay, and again, to, to notice again about this figure, okay? This is an infinite sign, this would be a figure of eight, that's why we call it figure of eight, but I'm going to show you it uh, in a horizontal way, because I want you to imagine that you put this on the ground, as it is, in a horizontal, like lying down. Once you have this in place, oh, the sun is up again. Mm so nice. Once you have the, the figure of eight on the floor, uh, I want you to notice that this is a combination, a combination between twisting your hips, like a twist, like the twist dance. So you twist your hips and for example in this case if you have your right hip back then you're gonna go with your weight to the right. Twist your hips keeping your weight on the right and change your weight to the side where your hip is on the back side. I hope you are following me. Twist and change your weight. Twist and change your weight. As you can see, as I am doing like a diagonal, a straight line in diagonal going backwards and a curve going forward. So change your weight and twist. Change and twist. Um, this is one way to understand the figure, the figure of eight and the other way is imagining that you are drawing circles on the floor. So you draw circles with one hip and circles with the other hip, one circle at a time with each hip. One with your right and one with your left. One with your right and one with your left. I'm just gonna give you my back now so you can see the whole movement and you can copy my movements. Twist, because I have my left hip back, I'm gonna go with my left, uh, with my weight to the left side. Then keeping my weight on the left, I twist forward, my left hip now is forward, my right hip is back. So I go with my weight to the right, I keep my weight on the right and I twist my hips, change the weight, twist, weight, twist, weight, twist. And if you want to understand the movement in the, in the other way, like as if you were drawing circles on the floor, then you draw a circle with your right, a circle with your left, a circle with your right, and a circle with your left. The challenge uh, in this uh, movement and in, the, and, and in the figure of eight going backwards, horizontal one, it's always to isolate the movement from your uh, upper body, from your chest. So you, I, I would like you to aim to keep the movement completely isolated. Sorry, I was doing the wrong one. I would like you to try not to go with your body as you go with your hip. But at the beginning it's completely fine because you are still understanding the movement. You are still putting that movement and feeling it in your body. So, if you have found this video useful, please thumbs up in YouTube, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I don't know where the subscribe button is exactly because they always change it and go to my website dancepandemic.com and please subscribe to my newsletter because I share things in my emails that you won't find anywhere else. Thank you very much for watching. English, come back to my brain, please. I need you now.